Hello beautiful Pisces and welcome back to Intuitive Energies. My name is Jane and I'm going to be doing a beautiful healing reading which is perfect for me because I'm just getting over something. Well, I don't, I'm not going to give it a name. It's um, I was down. My body um, got sick as everybody does and um, I'm lucky enough to be back and uh, I had four days to really um, I don't know, I guess lay around and, and be sick. <laughs> and now I feel much better. Um, I'm back on the upswing of it and uh, not too worse for wear, you know, just kind of normal. So I'm very grateful that I didn't get overly sick, just normal kind of sick, you know. Um, I have to remind myself that um, <clears throat> these episodes, these things that we go through physically, helps us, remind us as well how it feels to feel much better. <laughs> it makes us grateful when the better days are here, right? So, here we go. We're going to be doing a healing, which I love. I love, love, love. I'm going to be using, which are the decks that I'm using today? I'm using the Soul Truth, Self-Awareness, uh, the Power to Surrender cards, um, and also the healing mantra that we were using all week last week and a brand new deck for the very first time used on the channel although if you are a member you've already seen this deck it is the Phantom Wise Tarot um, if you have not um, on the channel on as a member I did a video showing you each card and then doing a deck interview with it so I'm hoping that um, if you uh, are interested, that you go ahead and go check that out. It's very easy. You can join a membership here. You can also do it on Patreon, which I love. I love my Patreon members. So it's basically just the same thing. Um, but if you join here, just because I know that some people, um, I guess, don't watch the videos. Maybe they don't know how to get there. But you just, after you've joined, there's under the video, under the channel, is written C Perks, because it's going to tell you. And then all, it's going to show you all of the stuff that I've put in the community tab for members, and all of the videos are there. Okay? So thank you to everybody who is here who is on the memberships, who has given, donated, who constantly supports me, even in buying decks. Thank you so much. Every little bit helps. Every little bit counts. And uh, it just keeps me here. And I'm very grateful to you. All right. So, let's begin. Um, which one? So, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Let's start with this one. So we're doing a healing. In other words, it's something that, um, you know what that is. You're, you're walking around and there's still a little part of you that needs a, a boost, a helping hand. Uh, everything's going to be okay. Okay. What boundaries need to be created or strengthened within my relationships? That's a good one. That is a good one, right? To create more healthy boundaries, we must first get in tune with our own needs, desires, and feelings, and believe we are worthy of them. In your relationships, it's essential to know where they end and where you begin. When we separate our energy from others, we gain clarity about what we really want. Then we stop doing things that no longer align with ourselves. If you're an empath, you can still be compassionate toward others without taking on their stuff. It is safe to trust that you are not here to fix anyone. Today's mantra is, I have everything I need within me now, and so do they. I am worthy of my needs, and I set boundaries based on what's best for me. And it's funny they mentioned empaths, because that's what I was thinking. As an empath, it's not always easy to just separate yourself from that energy. It's, it's just so difficult, so hard to just, <clears throat> you know... Tell yourself, oh, it's okay, you know? 
surrender stress, take a few deep breaths and exhale the tension you've built up in your body. Let the stress go as you come back to your center. I love this because you even see in this card and these, you see the yellow coming through here, okay? So, love that. The boundaries, it's, I'm almost feeling like a courage, a courageous theme, like something coming out going, you have to be courageous to, to get out of this, okay? Yeah, I, I felt that this card wanted to come out. The other one got out of the way. It didn't flip out, but right away I knew it was going to be another color card like this. Expanding inner power. I'm my most powerful one and my creativity is given a voice. There you go. It's very beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to use this deck for the very first time with you Pisces. I'm so excited. Yes, it's got, it's a material, it's, um, how do you call that? That's why it sounds that way. It's shy. <laughs> Tap into this thing. Oh, there we go. Six of Wands. Oh, and the Seven of Wands was hidden, hidden behind it. Look at that. So you go from defending yourself from others to being victorious around others and being a role model. So I do feel that that is... <clears throat> what's happening here is that it's... It said when you strengthen the boundaries in your relationship, when you're saying, all right, you know, like you're stepping on me and making me feel bad. This happens, okay? And it's not sometimes, it's not the other person's, they, they're out to get you. They're just doing them, okay? But the important part is that you need to do you as well. You need to take care of you. You need to protect you. So how do you do that? You let them know, okay? Um, <clears throat> you, you let them know that you need to protect your energy, that, um, like they said right here, it's okay, it's okay to separate your energy from others, okay? And to gain clarity about what you want to do and how you're going to do it. So instead of going like, I'm trying to protect myself, get away from me, okay? You say, okay, that's enough. And you surrender all of that. You expand your inner power. And by doing that, the Six of Wands, then you become like the cat to be. <laughs> if you look at it, right? You become the exquisite mouser here, where others are looking at you going, oh yeah, she knows how to, or he knows how to, you know, stand in their power and know their value and worth. And, I don't know, it kind of, it, it opens up your world to a much different place. So there's a healing that comes through, and there's a benefit to putting those boundaries Yeah, Transformation, the Hierophant, and the Emperor. Look at that, they're all seated, right? They're all seated. <laughs> Look at this death card. <laughs> Isn't she fabulous? <laughs> so, wait around for a transformation. Look at that. <laughs> um, but definitely bringing in a lot of wisdom. I love this Hierophant card with a book and books all around him. Fabulous. And I feel the Emperor is like, you get just more one-ups. This feels like a one-up to a one-up, you know? Transforming into wisdom, into stability. So, it makes you an authority on who you want to be. You know, you're not just standing around accepting all of these haphazard energies that are um, 
just, you know, making you go through it. So, yeah, absolutely. They're saying it's a right way to do it. It's, it's a good thing. It's going to have benefits if you take the time. Now, how to get there? Not too sure. Okay? I would tell you that if you need to set boundaries with other people, do it as kindly as you can. Um, <clears throat> some people um, in my life, I've tried to set boundaries uh, kindly, softly, gently, and you talk to them and they ignore you. The only thing that they understand is you cutting them off, unfortunately. Um, I know it sounds a little harsh, but sometimes you need to help yourself. If you tell somebody you have boundaries and they don't respect them, then they don't respect you, okay? You have to come to that conclusion. Because if you're kind enough to take the time to say, look, you're really stepping on me here, okay, constantly, and the person doesn't even acknowledge or understand or looks at you blankly all the time, it's because A, they're not capable of understanding, or B, they just simply don't care. Either way, there are different parts of their journeys, and you don't have to be mean, but you do need to help yourself, okay? You need to take care of yourself. You can't keep talking at a brick wall and expect it to respond, okay? It's a two-way street. You open the door, somebody's got to step through it. So just keep thinking that, okay? Keep thinking that. All right, so that was number one. If that could be you, that could be the way you're feeling right now, well, then you have some answers. Oh, come here. Am I in my head or in my heart? Oh, <laughs> the theme for the last couple of months anyway. What is the quality of your self-talk? Oh, again, if you're part of the membership, you will see that I have videos on going into your head and changing the room, changing the conversations, okay? Um, our brain is like a muscle. If we condition it daily, the fears and limitations will take over. Mastering our thoughts is about being the creator of your own life. Where your head meets your heart is where miracles happen. Today, master your mind. Watch an inspiring video. Do some tapping. Read an empowering book. Or write out all the reasons why you believe in yourself and your dreams. I think those are great examples of things to do. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Surrender low self-esteem. You deserve success, love, abundance. Set an intention to identify and release any remnants of low self-esteem and negative self-talk. Okay? Again, with the yellow, look at all the power energy coming in. Absolutely. Celebrating simplicity. I am more fulfilled when there is less to manage and maintain. And embracing worthiness, that feels very appropriate. I feel worthiness filling every cell of my body and it feels amazing. Okay, so I feel like it says, keep it simple. <laughs> Silly. 
Okay, so stop being silly with yourself when you have that negative self-thought. You need to feel worthy. You need to improve the room in your mind, okay? Like I said, that video has done so much for me because I went and took that uh, lesson, and now I shared it with you in a video on how to improve the room where you have conversations with yourself in your mind, okay? So that when you go there, right away, it's a better place to be. I just realized that the shuffling of this, yeah, let's cut, okay? I'm going to do some cuts. The star, I'm going to cut again. Oh, this one wanted to stay. The two of swords, and we'll pull another one. The five of wands, okay. So, You need to make sure that you know that you are the star of the show, okay? This is just, this is twice that I got this card today. I actually pulled it for myself. And it's to remind yourself that you are... Um, you know, we always go outside of ourselves to get <clears throat> the answers. Um, it's almost like we're always going outside for validation, right? It's like somebody validate my problem, my conflict, okay? This is the conflict and the two of swords, which is the block. And that causes delay. I'm having a delay. I'm having a conflict. You go outside of yourself to get the answer. So you're in your head when really, if you listen to your heart, the answer's there, okay? You will know that you always have that sensation. You always have an answer that's at the ready, but that's when you get that answer, is when you start questioning, is it really the answer? Is it really what I'm feeling? What is this intuitive hit? Is it real? So you go outside of yourself, okay? Keep it simple. Know that you're worthy of making the right decisions for yourself, okay? These things come from low self-esteem or not trusting yourself. So trust yourself. Are you in your head or in your heart? Be in your heart. Your heart is where you get your intuitive indication and help. Okay? There we go. That's the second one. That's the second healing. Okay? Mm -mm. All right. expectations do I have that are impossible to meet? The expectations we have are mostly delusional and impossible to meet. We then experience disappointment with ourselves or with a relationship when they're not met. It's time to dissolve your expectations and replace them with gratitude. Be grateful. You are being summoned for more peace. Peace is a home for our soul. And it's accompanied by trust. It comes when you surrender and focus only on what you can control. If you expect nothing and are grateful for everything, you will experience extreme fulfillment. Absolutely. Okay? So take the time. Is What I do now is I wake up, and if I have somebody to tell, I tell. But if I don't, I'll say it to myself. I'll say, happiness is... Today would be happiness is, as I feel so much better than yesterday and the day before, I feel alive. And feeling alive is such a beautiful privilege to wake up and feel and be alive when so many um, don't have that privilege anymore. Just recently, another acquaintance has passed away at the tender age of 62. I, I feel these things, even though we were never close. 
is somebody who's always been around, you know, in my life, that I've known of, and now they're no longer. And I feel so grateful that I'm here. It makes me renew the vow that I, I just want to be grateful for every day and live my life to the fullest. Expectations are things that I used to have a lot, and I still do. And when I hear or see of someone who has passed, I think to myself, these are but nothing much, and maybe I should just be happy that I'm here right now. Surrender the idea you can fix someone. <laughs> that will also go with expectations for sure. It's time for a relationship to shift. It doesn't work to try to fix someone. Each person must be accountable for his or her own thinking and healing. <clears throat> and this, this happens as well, okay? If you're expecting for people to change because you want them to, you might be disappointed, okay? They need to fix themselves. And you need to come to that conclusion. You're fixing you, they need to fix them. Greeting wellness. Balance is the key to a life of infinite miracles. <laughs> right. So if things are don't feel well within a relationship or with people, it's time that you take care of, I don't know... of being well within yourself, okay? All I say is go within, okay? If anybody's going to change, they're going to change because they've decided to. The best thing you can do is, is take care of you so you're an example to other people to follow, okay? They don't follow by what you tell them to do. They follow by what they see and feel and want for themselves. Ooh, King of Cups, right. I like that one. Okay, so obviously this is saying the same thing. The King of Cups is always about being calm, being you, in a storm. You'll always have people who have storms raging around them, who are bringing them to you or around you. The best thing that you can do is being calm and happy and emotional stable in your own life, okay? Because the Five of Swords here is if you're trying to, like, fix the conflict or be the winner... It doesn't matter how much you want people to win. How many swords you gather, there'll always be these losers. There'll always be these expectations that are not met. <clears throat> it's never going to be a win for everybody. So the, the one thing you have to concentrate on, what is a win for you? So it's time to fly your balloon, your chariot, in this case a balloon, high above to becoming who you are, the Page of Cups, okay? This is you. This is your person. Okay? The madcap, happy, okay? Nutty, bunnied, eared, perfect um, Pisces that you are. That soft, beautiful dreamer. Okay? So, take care of you. Be well within you. Don't try to expect too much from people around you. Or even circumstances outside of yourself because inevitably something will disappoint you at one point, right? You're going to say, I expect, you know, all of this to come to me. And then when it doesn't, you'll start feeling like somehow you failed 
there may be a bunch of reasons why. Things don't work out right away. Things that you don't even know about. Things that may help you in the future. So try not to be too hard on that. And just try not to fix anybody. Concentrate on yourself. Okay? Okay, so I think we'll do one more. And I think that's good, right? That's good for you, right, Pisces? Which one are you identifying to so far? Maybe this next one you will. Am I afraid to be seen? Amazing. Look at that. The world doesn't want you to hold back any longer. Time to shine your unique light on the, on the world. You were made from love. And from love you are a whole. There is no more hiding. There is no more shame. There is only truth. Live naked and free. Except if you're where I am, then dress because you'll freeze. <laughs> What parts of me do I hide so I can be socially accepted and fit in? Am I being authentic? Do I allow myself to be all of me? What do I need to feel so I can be safe to be seen? Journal your answers. Surrender denial. Accept people and situations exactly as they are, without denying the difficulties. Then you can see things clearly and make the best decisions. Okay, when I, I looked at this card, I saw the Two of Swords again, and because it's saying, are you afraid to be seen, I feel that sometimes we make excuses for people who make us feel terrible. And they're also saying, when people tell you who they are, believe them. This is, this is something that I've heard many times recently. If you really think about it, Pisces, people will often tell you who they are. Warts and all. They'll tell you if they're awful people. Oh, I, you know, I'm not the kind of person who is lovey-dovey. That they've just clearly indicated that they're not going to profess love. They're not going to show love. So take them to their word. Is that important to you? Okay. If you listen carefully, we sometimes don't listen to the truths that people tell her. So don't deny what you know to be true. Okay. So if, um, if you're acting small around people because they behave badly and they've told you, that they're that kind of person, or they've stepped all over you. Maybe it's time to do something different with it, okay? Dissolving judgments. I don't have to like the action of others in order to love my journey. That's exactly it, right? So I feel right here is something of a situation where um, you're, you've dimmed yourself in order to give somebody else a chance but it's a denial, okay? And it's this is dissolving judgment. It's not for you to judge them. And it's not for you to be upset with yourself for not having picked up the sign, but it's for you to now face the truth of the situation, okay? And don't be small. So it's time to either, um, I don't know. Again, it comes with the boundaries, right? It's setting the boundaries of going, yeah, that's enough. I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to put up with this anymore. And you're allowed. You're allowed not to want to have to deal with this any longer. Okay? Justice. Okay. <clears throat> Let's take 
blinkies. <laughs> the chariot. One more. The fool. Okay. All right. So since I don't know forever now, we've been talking about the new, the new road that you're on, right? And part of that is seeking balance for yourself, seeing above what is. So this is still about getting rid of the stuff that doesn't fit, that's not equal, that's not balanced in your life. She holds the sword of clarity in her hands. This is for you to see clearly. The stuff that maybe you have been sweeping under the rug, that you've been like, ah, oh, you know, you know, yeah, they step over my boundaries every once in a while. Yeah, sometimes the stories I tell myself, I walk around and say some not nice things. Ah, oh, and yeah, I'm hoping that, you know, they'll fix. You know, I'll, I'll be able to fix this person. You know, I can help them fix themselves. They'll fix themselves. And, you know, yeah, you know. Yeah, they did tell me that they were like that, but eh, you know, I maybe they'll change. Maybe they didn't mean it. The chariot card is telling me that you are on your way of just it's it's like doing a clutter, a decluttering, and it's a decluttering, unfortunately, sometimes of of people that they're not helping you grow. Okay? Because you keep repeating the same pattern with them, hoping to see a different result. And what's happening is that it's, it's kind of weighing you down, like an anchor. It's not giving you that extra lift. And I feel that that extra lift, you're ready to see now what's going on. You're ready to, to move away into that new journey. All of these feel like they're saying the same thing. You have to move into that new journey. Okay? You have to clear away the old. And, you know, I'm going to say this in all, with all the love in my heart. If you do have these people in your, in your life, don't treat them like something to dispose of, like garbage. Um, send them all the love in the world and hope that their path finds light and brightness and brilliance. Um, but love yourself. Shine the light on you. You need to put that light on you. You need to focus it on you. You have to release the things and the people that just are holding you back and holding you down. It's time for you to take care of yourself. Okay? I say that with all the love in my heart, and that's what Spirit wants to convey. Don't say, like, to hell with you, you know? I've heard that. <laughs> I've heard that in... What do they call those love readings? I'm not, I'm not trying to diss anybody, but, you know, it's like, no, no, honey child, get the hell out, you know. <laughs> Just, you know, have a conversation with yourself. Go in a beautiful room of your mind, which I'll help you create if you're a member, and go sit in there and say, look, I love these people, but I've tried so hard and so long, and they're just nothing. There's no need to be angry with them, okay? A lot of the times we repeat the patterns because they've told us who they are and what they are, but we haven't set the boundaries. And we're in our head, even though our heart's telling us it's time to move on, okay? And then we, we make ourselves smaller because of these situations. It's time for you to drop those... Let those anchors fall away. Let yourself pick up air and, and go above and, and go on your own. Anyway, this has been, I'm, so, I'm sure it's super long now. <laughs> First video back and it's like, you know, I probably will run out of voice. Um, but, uh, yeah, I hope that this has helped you. It's a healing, it's a new year, new month, new time for you to, I don't know, um, Make it even more official that you are uh, dedicated and 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 really focused on your wellness. Okay. All right, my beautiful ones. I'm gonna let you go with this. 
I'm sending you love, light, and blessings. As always, I will return later for your weekly. We're going to pick out all the cards for the week. And, uh, yeah, take good care of yourself. I hope you are well. I hope you're staying healthy. And if you have suffered uh, a sickness or whatever, I'm sending you a lot of love, a lot of light. And remember, you're strong, you're beautiful. Uh, watch a great movie, you know, stock up on Kleenex and just... <laughs> <laughs> Drink some vitamin C and and uh, let your body take the time it needs, okay? Love, light, and blessings, my beautiful ones. I will see you all later.